Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah, the, you know what, there's uh, clearly somebody is seeing that there's a, a karmic energy here. She's extremely toxic. Okay, this is somebody very bossy. Um, she rules with an iron fist. It's her way or the, uh, well, it's her way. She's not letting this person go. Okay, um, he's in a whole lot of pain. Okay, whoever this masculine is, he's feeling very betrayed. I, this person realizes that they, um, th I feel like that she's blocking this path. She's blocking this union from happening. All your person can think about is this Ten of Cups and how they could be happy with you. And I feel like she knows it too. This Queen of Swords, she could be a, an air sign, a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe a Capricorn, maybe a Leo. But um, she's just nasty. She knows this person wants you. She doesn't care that they're in writhing, like writhing in pain. They're in absolute misery over you. They can't stop thinking about you. They want you really bad. They want to be happy with you. They want their ten of cups. They want this union. Okay, but she doesn't care. You know, she's hanging on to somebody that she knows doesn't love her. She's trying to win at all costs here. And this one, this person is toxic, toxic AF. She's like the devil. She could even be um, <clears throat> like, uh, I've kind of get it, like a selling her soul to the devil to keep you two apart kind of energy. Okay. Yeah. All this person wants is their empress. They just want you. You know, and this Queen of Swords, she can't compete with the Empress. Nobody can. Okay, yeah, look, this masculine is falling apart over you, collective boy. Are they in a lot of regret? Because, see, this Queen of Swords, she's getting more and more intense. She's getting more and more unstable. She's getting more and more angry, volatile, um, vengeful. Um, yeah. And I feel like all she's doing is fighting. This masculine knows that they're being kept away from you. She's making it probably perfectly clear. I mean, I feel like she's um, either exposing herself as, as a karmic, as the devil in disguise, or she's come, coming right out and saying, no, you know what? I'm never, go I'm never going to let you near the empress. You're not going near the empress. I am trying to get in the middle of everything. I am trying to keep you apart at all costs. And I'll do whatever I can to continue to do that. Like, for real. I feel like she's, um, it's almost as if she's bragging about it. She's very straightforward and honest about it. Like, she knows, she, she, she knows this person wants you, and she doesn't care. This masculine is in so much regret. You know, she may be even be threatening to t expose their secrets. There could have been a lot that this person has done or said behind the scenes um, that she could be getting ready to expose. This is, yeah, look. I thought it came out in a big clump. I'm like, this is way too many. But it was just the one. Um, three of Wands, this masculine knows they needed to make a choice. Maybe they were waiting for the right opportunity to escape from this karma because she is that toxic. You know, she's very threatening. Um, it, things may even get physical. Okay, physical fighting, that kind of thing. Violence, right? She's very violent. She could be breaking stuff, doing a lot of screaming, embarrassing this person in the public eye. All this masculine can do is think about you. They want this new beginning so bad. And I feel like they're afraid that you're going to get new love. That's one of their biggest fears is that someone else is going to get you. Yeah, but they feel like a fool. They feel like an absolute fool. And they feel like they got caught in some kind of trap. Okay? This is somebody who gets tripped up by not watching where they're going. By thinking that there's going to be no consequences. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, they they made a foolish decision to choose this Queen of Swords, this 
devil in disguise over the empress. And now they're really regretting this. This is somebody who's kicking rocks, you know. They started some kind of competition with this third party. They put you in, um, they put you in a, a love triangle, basically is what they did. And you're the one who's taking all the heat. I feel like this karmic, she just, she can't stand you. She can't stand you, though, collective. Think about this. She can't stand you because she can't compete with you. You know, I feel like um, she's jealous of your beauty, your abundance, your, um, your the growth that you've had, right? She's jealous of your transformation. She's jealous that you're every queen in the deck, and she can't be that. She's, she could be jealous of your job. Whatever, she's jealous of everything about you, okay? Because she knows this masculine wants you, and she can't be you. See, this masculine, I feel like they're worried that you're going to get someone new. You know, the Knight of Wands kind of gets a bad rap, okay? The Knight of Wands is known to be a player. This masculine could have, they could be looking back at things and remembering a time when they were a player. And that this is burdening them now because you know what? They should have given you some kind of legitimate offer. They should have remained at your side. But I feel like this Knight of Wands here could be the thought, they're having this thought that someone new is coming in to share um, some passion with you. This drives them crazy. It drives them absolutely nutty. Like this is being kind of nutty, okay? <laughs> it drives them nutty thinking about you getting new love and sharing passion with someone else. Okay, because there's been no communication. You're not talking to this person. You've got your boundaries up here. Okay, because they've been with somebody else. They chose someone else. What do they expect? You know, you're out here living your life. I feel like you're just doing you, you know. And in Empress Energy, um, you're attracting attention to you like crazy. I, I hope you are aware of that. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what the Empress does. She attracts new things and opportunities and people to her. And this person knows it. They know that you're so attractive. And, um, who wouldn't want an Empress, right? This person's really worried that you're about to get with somebody new. They feel very betrayed by this Empress, or by this Queen of Swords, they know that this Queen of Swords is doing all she can to um, keep you two apart, basically. She's doing everything she can to keep you two apart. And she's not being secretive about it. Like, she's, like, making it abundantly clear that she's doing this for that specific reason. Because she doesn't want to lose this person to you. Yeah, see? He knows. This masculine knows it. Why they're still there, I really don't know. I kind of get the sense that she's holding something over their head. Maybe she's kind of threatening to do something to you. She's kind of going crazy, okay? We've got the King of Pentacles falling on the floor here. Um, I feel like this masculine, they used to be like this. King of Pentacles energy grounded, stable, okay, um, all their ducks in a row, they used to have money rolling in, they may have had a, um, a, a really awesome business too that was, that was going strong and steady, you know, this person's all about loyalty, dedication, but they decided to be dedicated and loyal to the wrong person, so they went from the King of Pentacles energy, oops, to the Ten of Wands energy, now they're looking more like this. I feel like this has changed this person greatly. I feel like they're not as financially stable as they used to be. Now they may have a lot of financial debt, bills they can't pay, they don't have the money for everything, okay? They used to, um, I feel like this used, this person had a great reputation of maybe being active or um, engaging in, in activities with other people, that kind of thing. Now people are seeing them in the community as somebody who's very burdened, sluggish. They don't, they don't feel like 
going to any events. They don't want to take part in any kind of parties or anything like that. Social gatherings. You know, now this person is just, they are attached to this devil toxic karmic individual who really just, um, like she monitors them. You know, she may not allow them to go and engage with other people, you know, and do other things. I feel like their primary function is to work and bring home the money for her. Okay? And meanwhile, um, they're just, they're miserable. This is somebody who comes home and, like, goes and sits in a, in a closet and cries. And then they have to start, get up every day and start a whole new day the same way. Go to work, deal with this karmic individual before they leave. You know, she monitors their every move. They have to make that money. They come home. They stick themselves in a closet and cry and go back to sleep. I mean, this is how they do it. Every day is the same. This person has no interest in their life. They're, they have no enthusiasm. They don't get excited about anything anymore. This is really weighing heavy on this person, you know, because they're walking through life with the wrong person. And they're, um, they're missing their opportunity and their blessings, their destiny here. They know it. I, I really feel like she's threatening them with something or holding something over their head. Why is this person still there? Oh, my gosh. Because, you know, this is a grown adult. They have the power to leave the situation. So I feel like something is about to be put in, in the public eye. They're, they're worried about their reputation. They're worried about this karmic ruining their reputation. They've done a lot behind the scenes, and they don't want it being exposed. See all of these wands behind this person? That's everything that they're guarding. I feel like this karmic knows all of their secrets, and she's going to expose them in the public eye. And this person will lose their reputation. They will lose their reputation collective. So, yeah, she's holding all of their secrets over their head, you know, but yet at the same time, she's really kind of sort of abusing her power on this person. She's abusing this person. It just feels like um, mental, emotional abuse, okay, because she's stressed out. That's why, because she's worried, because she knows at any time this masculine is going to walk. At any time, they're going to leave her behind and come to the person that they truly love and admire. And that would be this, um, this empress, empress, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, she's stressed out. So, you know, um, when somebody gets worried and stressed out about something that they're losing, they try really hard to hang on to it and try to make sure that they don't lose it. And that's what she's doing. But it, it feels more like sticking an animal in a cage. You know? Um, she's actually not even trying to fix things, and she's not trying to keep anything quiet either. She's, um, she's like, hey, I'm boldly telling... She's boldly telling this person to their face... Yeah, I just don't want you with your empress. You're not going anywhere. You know, and when she threatens to ruin their reputation, they stay and continue to watch you from afar. This person is watching everything that you're posting on the Internet. Um, all they do is watch you. They're not, they, these two are not sharing any passion together either. This karmic is sleeping alone, all right, while this masculine is up till the wee hours of the morning trying to check you out or check up on you or figure out what's going on in your life. All they do is watch you for hours, hours at a time, some of them all night long, okay, and meanwhile, while they're watching you, the karmic knows it. She knows it. She knows. This is what their life is like at night. The masculine watching you, they could watch you on a TV. You could have like some kind of social plat or public platform or social media 
that they can somehow get on their TV. You're definitely, they can find you on the computer for sure. This is what they do. They sit and they watch you for like all night long till the sun comes up while this karmic lays in bed at night. Um, like totally stressed out about this. The karmic can't sleep. She could be having lots of nightmares. I feel like spirit is around the karmic driving her crazy because she's standing in the middle of, I feel, a divine connection. Okay, and yet this masculine, they're watching you just leave their life in silence. Yep, all this person can do is think about you. They don't want to be around the karmic. Nothing. Okay, their home is really just a roof over this person's head. It's almost like they have to report back to their cage after work. Okay, that's, yeah. It feels like they're sleeping on a cot. It feels like they're in a jail. Okay, it feels like this is a jail, like a prison sentence with this karmic. But here's the thing. She may know some secrets about this person that could actually send them to prison. So she's saying something like, well, this bed is more comfortable than the one you're going to have in prison. If you try to leave, I'm going to expose you. Like, she's threatening this person, I feel. Okay? Yep, and you're moving on, Collective. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Leo. Um, yeah, heavy Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy Leo energy. Okay? Your person could be a Virgo. They could be a Capricorn, a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe a Sagittarius. You could also be a Taurus and Aries. Maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, you're moving on. And, you know, I feel like this person watches you and watches you, trying to find out where you're going in life, who you're with, what are you doing, what are you up to, what are you planning, that kind of thing. But they're, I don't think they're seeing a whole lot about your personal life, okay? Because you're keeping your moves hidden. You're moving in silence. You could be moving away as well. If you're moving away, it's definitely going to be an upgrade. Yeah, so this masculine is in love with you and, and is obsessively watching you. And the karmic, she knows... She knows nothing is being hidden. Everything is out in the open with these two. She knows he's in love with you. She knows he's up all night watching you. Okay? And she doesn't, uh, well, she cares, but she doesn't, um, she's, she's not, she's not playing games. Like, she, she's not going to keep it all inside. And she doesn't hide the fact that um, she's definitely just trying to stand in your way. Okay, she's trying to stand in the way of this connection coming back together. You know, and she's very open about that. So this, and she's threatening this masculine, you leave and I'm going to ruin your reputation, man. I'm going to, I'm going to put out on the internet everything that you've been doing. Okay, yeah. That's what she's holding over his head. But boy, this masculine wants a new beginning with you, Collective. They want a second chance. They see you as the one. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Virgo. Yeah, they see you as the one. And I feel like um, all this person wants to do is escape from the karmic, but they don't know how. They don't know how without their, their reputation being ruined. But isn't that kind of what they did to you, Collective? Wasn't your reputation dragged through the mud because of all of this? I feel like they put you in this third party and they allowed people to rip you apart. You know? And so it may come to the point where this, this person's karma could be the exact same thing they did to you. That's exposure. Throwing this person to the wolves and letting them rip them apart. 
You know, they, I feel like they have to face this. They have to face those things that are going to trash their reputation in order to get away from this karmic and have another chance with the one that they truly love. But, you know, until this person does something about it, they're going to be miserable in their life every day. It's only going to get worse. And they're losing you, the one for them. They're losing you. Okay? You're moving on. So, yeah, that's where we are in this. Let's see how they're feeling. I feel like this person is just beside themselves, like they don't know what to do. How do they get out of this? They're trying to protect themselves. They're trying to protect their own reputation. They don't want everybody to know the truth about them. Okay, and they're... they're um, very sad, a feeling defeated because they're losing you. This here is a wish. They're feeling very vulnerable because um, everything that was hidden under the rug is about to be exposed. They don't know what's going to happen next. This, if this person is a king of pentacles like they're coming out to be, this is somebody who likes to have all their ducks in a row. They like to have, they like to know what's going to happen. You know, they like to know what to expect. What are their options? That kind of thing. They like to be grounded and stable. This is n nowhere near grounded and stable. Nowhere near it. Okay, and that's how they're feeling right now. I feel like this person is hopeful that they'll get an opportunity to escape the karmic. Right? Because they've got to get away from her to be able to come towards you. The, I feel like this person is kind of praying as well. Yeah, they're really worried about you starting something new with somebody new. This is what they're worried about here. Yes, when they think about that, this person gets really sad. They, um, they, may, st they may get very emotional. They may cry a lot these days. They're feeling a lot of pressure. They're really stressed out. They're watching you. Um, the more they see you grow, the more stressed they get. Because they, they, bye, darling, I love you. Have a good day. Bye. Sorry, that was my daughter. She's leaving the house. Um, where was I? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, they're, um, they know as you grow, they're stressed out because they know as you grow, everybody's going to want you. Look, you're the, uh, you're the Empress in the Minor Arcana and the Empress. This is like the true treasure in the deck, and the Empress attracts new things to her. This is your energy right here, okay? Who in their right mind would not want a chance with this? Okay, you could bring someone almost instantly to Ten of Pentacles. That's, that's wish fulfillment, that's a dedicated commitment, and it's building generational wealth. You're beautiful, you're smart, you're dedicated, responsible, loyal, driven, um, independent, spiritually led. Every queen in the deck, who would not want this? So this person is really stressed out because they're really, really worried really stress the F out that you're going to get with someone new. I feel like this person wants you to wait. Okay? I feel like they want you to wait for them. But this is too toxic. Yeah. You're not going to wait for this person. They're longing for you. They're yearning for you. They're sinking into a, a major depression over this because they're with the karmic that they're trying to figure out a way to escape from. She makes this person feel panicky, like they're walking on eggshells every day. They, they don't know when she's going to expose their, their secrets. They, she, she's very unpredictable. She's very resentful. She's bitter. She's nasty. This is, look, they chose this over this. You got to be kidding me. That's, this is what they chose over you, over an empress. But see, this, it's, here's the thing. She knows too much about this person. She knows things about them that could put them in jail. 
and make them um, a mockery or a laughing stock in their community. You know, and this person, um, they're more worried about their own skin and their reputation. So they, they, um, they do what she says. This masculine does what she says. And they're just kind of praying for a miracle that will get them out of the situation, okay? Oh, man. You just keep doing what you're doing. Keep living your life collective. Keep growing what it is that you're working on. Keep focusing on you. Put your energy and your love into you, okay? Because it's working for you. And I feel like spirit is bringing you um, blessings. They're bringing you the blessings that you deserve. And I feel like love is one of those things that's coming in. Otherwise, your person wouldn't be so panicked about it. Like they can feel and they can sense that you're getting love. You, you may not sense that new love is coming. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, so yeah, you may not even be, a, you may not feel that new love is coming your way, but it's because you're very distracted with other things right now. Your focus is on building this abundance, building a business, transformation, okay? So you're not really even focused on love right now. <laughs> you may be focused more on money, all right? Or getting outside, something, planting a garden, growing something new for yourself. But um, it, even though you can't see new love coming in, this person sure can. You know, so they know your value now. They know you're a high value individual and anybody in the world, everybody would be, they'd have to be um, out of their mind not to want a chance with you, okay? And that's, that boy, that's telling me this person really knows your value.